Synopsis and review film, Eternals. We have watched. Eternals is the next installment in Marvel's ever-expanding cinematic universe, and it chronicles the narrative of the titular Eternals, eternal superhumans tasked with combating the terrible deviants and assisting in the evolution of humanity. When their duty is completed, the Eternals are free to explore the globe they help to defend, crafting their own lives and identities, but the Deviant's arrival in modern times changes everything. Thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome. So now that this is an intriguing notion, gone, but sadly, Eternals uses all of its Disney-funded resources to convey the story in the most uninteresting way conceivable. <laughs> the narrative is uninteresting and exposition-heavy. For the majority of the film's 157 minutes, it feels like the characters are simply talking about the story they're in, rather than reacting to and engaging with it. As a result, the ensemble cast that this film is attempting to introduce to the larger MCU never really gets a chance to develop in any meaningful or compelling ways. The audience is told through exposition how the characters feel about the plot and each other, but these obvious character traits are never expressed in the narrative itself. Despite the best efforts of its superb ensemble, this makes it difficult to build any emotional relationship to any story or character beats in the work. The original art of Jack Kirby on 1976's The Eternals comic was vivid and stunning, and this film adaptation offers a great potential to inject some of that vibrancy into the MCU's sometimes drab looks. Unfortunately, the film fails to cash in on that opportunity, as the majority of the action is boringly choreographed green screen bouts against CG monsters, with little to no visual flair to distinguish the characters from the comic pages. Eternals had a lot of potential, but it unfortunately represents the worst of the MCU's cinematic indulgences. It's too long and boring, with flat characters and a story that feels more like a trailer for the next installments in the unstoppable cinematic juggernaut than a truly engaging narrative in its own right. The experience of viewing Eternals feels like it lasts an eternity, which is appropriate for a film about immortality, and it makes its viewers uncomfortably conscious of their own death after over three hours.